Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy RVG bringing you another video on Marvel's Midnight Suns. The hype train is in full effect and we have no plans of slowing down anytime soon. Just want to give a shout out to all the Marvel faithful and just my fans in general for showing me love on the recent videos. It hasn't really gotten quite the reception that I think it deserves, uh, but it's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like a coat in the closet, we gonna hang in there. YouTube might be catering more towards the TikTokers and the short video content creators, but we gonna find a way to just get the, the, the message out there, man. And thankfully the team at 2K is expanding and more creators are getting involved to show how awesome this game could be. Uh, if you guys have been living under a rock, you know today is the official reveal for the gameplay, which you guys have been desperately wanting to see. I have also been hyped about it and I can't wait to see what they show to us because this is going to be like a do or die thing. I know when we mentioned that it's going to be a tactics RPG, some of you guys are a little bit, eh, you don't know if this is going to work. You're not too favorable towards the XCOM type of combat system, but you don't have to worry because this game has a different visual makeup than XCOM. Even though it's made by Firaxis, I don't think you guys necessarily have to worry about it being too much like a one-to-one -one compared to XCOM 1 and XCOM 2. This is a different thing and it's going to highlight the skills of all these different Marvel characters. So fret not on that level. Also, guys, um, I know I'm not wearing the right kind of shirt right now. You know, I should be rocking more Marvel apparel, but, you know, uh, Street Fighter and Marvel go hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? They have a good history with each other. Uh, shout out to the hashtag free Marvel vs. Capcom 2 movement. Let's get that going. But anyways, man, um, I think that we have all the assets in place, so we're going to go ahead and check out the trailers that were just given to us. Obviously, uh, IGN, IGN has... Uh, full access to it at the moment or early access to it but we got some stuff too so I'm gonna go ahead and check out this gameplay trailer how long was I in that crypt I know it's 2k a few centuries. I'm loving the black and gold theme by the way centuries and the graphics actually look beautiful Fallen by your hand. Until now, you were missed. Whatever a caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. That sounds like Nico Monaru's actual actor from the live action show. Is that her actor? 2K, let me know, man. Okay, Captain Marvel, Blade, Iron Man. Suit looking clean, boy. He out cold. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Let's go. Magically imbued claws. You're a Midnight Sun now. One of us. <laughs> the card system, all right. I already noticed some significant differences from XCOM with the card system. Let's go, Bub. Ah, Steve Bloom is Wolverine good. Classic costume. We're throwing up some gang signs. Okay, seeing a lot of story elements now. <laughs> Yo, is that a signature? Is that a special? Cap. Okay, that looked like it was going to be a dark magic kind of thing right there with the hunter. Was well, that the penis stare that they just showed? Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Sign up for the newsletters, guys, to get early access to news that other people may have not seen. You can guess. Stealth, not your style. I'm a vampire, remember? Man, why does that sound like stealth? Is that Michael John White? Oh my god, man, y'all are killing on the voice tip thing, man. And the gameplay looks amazing. Like, um, I can say this. 
I can already tell that some of you guys aren't going to be too high off of it because of the format being more turn-based as opposed to just the fast-paced brawler type that is usually associated with Marvel games. But I'm liking the overall aesthetic. Like, the aesthetic looks good, the presentation looks great, and I also like the specials. Do I think it needs a little work in terms of just more spectacle? I say, yeah, it could add a few more touches to make it look more, you know, just exciting in terms of all the different attacks and stuff like that but maybe we haven't really seen all the game has to offer yet there's obviously things that they haven't shown us like um more uh what goes on at the abbey which is going to be your local hub where you hang out with all the heroes and get to build relationships with them uh, i mentioned in my previous video that you are going to have to hang out with the characters in order to be more effective on the battlefield learn more abilities and stuff like that they're not they're not showing a lot of what the card system has to offer but if i'm not mistaken i think they have a video breakdown gameplay deep dive video so um i'm gonna go ahead and check this out and see what it has to offer okay this is six minutes and 49 seconds long Ah, we're a little too blurry. Strategy and tactics experts have teamed up with the world's greatest storytellers to create a new AAA ex uh, come on. New AAA experience. Let's go, man. Anything before it. Welcome to Marvel's Midnight Suns. This new tactical RPG from Firaxis is set in the darker side of the Marvel Universe, packed with a deeply customizable tactical battle system that rewards clever thinking. See, it doesn't have the overhead perspective. An epic, supernatural story that brings you face to face against the demonic oh, forces clean, of the man. underworld. A deep role-playing experience where you get to live among Marvel legends and the first customizable original hero from the Marvel Universe. See? As darkness falls, rise up the Midnight Suns and face off against an ancient prophecy foretelling the end of the world. After centuries of sleep, Lilith, mother of demons, has been revived by Hydra through a twist of dark Mama magic Lilith. and science. It had to be Hydra, man. They always up to no good up in the Marvel Universe. Lilith will stop at nothing to fulfill the prophecy of the Midnight Sun Who is this, and bring uh, back great her value, master, Robert Downey Jr. Alongside her is her army of Lilith, demonic forces who carry out her twisted will with fanatical devotion. Pushed to the brink by her return, the Avengers desperately revive a dark power of their own, the Hunter, a legendary hero, forsaken child of Lilith and the only one known to have beaten Lilith before. I'm gonna be decking my character out. Sons, the player takes on the role of this new hero, who until recently lay peacefully in a centuries-long sleep, tucked away in a quiet crypt on the grounds of the Abbey, the secret headquarters of an organization known only as the Midnight Suns. Let's go! For the first time in any Marvel game, the Hunter is a customizable original superhero, allowing you to live out your very own Marvel adventure. Different weapons, okay. But you won't be alone. Marvel's Midnight Suns features a legendary collection of heroes that span across the Marvel Universe, hey. including the Avengers, X-Men, Runaways, and It's more. like the graphics kind of vary. It's like from time to time they look a little dry, but in certain scenes they look very rich in detail. bonds outside the field of battle. Every hero has a completely unique set of abilities, ranging from damage-dealing attacks to life-saving skills. So cap game-changing finishers. And it's stir. Yes. There are tons of unique costumes to unlock, skills to upgrade, and heroic team-ups that unleash devastating combo moves. Think like With a your superhero. superhero Let's squad go. Picked, it's time to start fighting back the forces of Lilith. Combat in Marvel's Midnight Suns is a cinematic tactical affair Staff that one. rewards clever thinking with superhero flair. The wings. The player controls a squad of three heroes and is dealt a random selection of hero abilities, like a hand of cards. These abilities offer Ooh, a vast array of tactical crowd control tactics that expand in there. exponentially when combined with the battlefield itself. Shove, leap, 
and smash your way to victory using the environment to wreak havoc on your enemies. Send the bad guys face first into a wall, into each other, or just right over the edge. <laughs> victory requires a balance of smart tactical thinking and being able to read and react off the battlefield, as well as cultivating your friendships outside of combat and finding the right combinations of heroes and abilities. Yo. Battles rage across iconic Marvel locations like Avengers okay, Tower. Okay, Avengers to Tower Doctor looking Strange's clean! Sanctum Sanctorum, from New York City rooftops to underground Hydra installations. From sun bleached deserts to a hellscape dimension far beyond our own. Mm. When the fighting is done, the heroes return to the Abbey, a living hub that the player navigates in real time, experiencing for the first time in any Marvel game what it's like to not just fight alongside beloved Marvel heroes, but to live alongside them as well. The Abbey offers hours of rewarding exploration, like magic. gameplay, and story for the player to enjoy. There's even a few lovable, if unique, pets. Get to know your favorite Marvel heroes through careful conversation and shared time together through daily activities. Take a stroll with Tony Stark on the Abbey grounds, or practice meditative yoga with magic. That's dope, The man. choice is yours, but choose wisely, because every hero has their own preferences. Developing deep friendships can unlock powerful rewards in combat, and in the Abbey. Use the spoils of battle to earn new abilities for your heroes down in the forge. Upgrade current hero abilities out in the yard under Blade's Watch for uh -huh. Find new hero Blade options is the in the war room with Captain Marvel, and much, much more. When ready, it's time to choose a new mission. Choose your squad of heroes and return to battle. The enemy may grow more powerful with every fight, but the hunter and the heroes will rise in power to meet them because that's what true heroes do. That's right. Let's go, man. Man, let's go. Hey, 2K and Marvel, I've come to make a bargain, man. I'm down. Like, man, this right here, this is really good. Like, I am liking the direction that they're going in with this. I'll have to say that, like, it does have a few moments where the graphics, they look like they are still being fine-tuned. But in other scenes that they show, I'm not sure if they're pre-rendered cutscenes, but you can see all the texture and details on the characters' costumes and even on their skin. It's like, it looks really good, but it, it does look like it still could use a little work in that area. But overall, I love what they're doing with the character relationship building and stuff like that. I'm liking even how they present the characters, like all the things that they would enjoy doing. Maybe having intellectually stimulating conversations with Tony Stark and just actually get to know these characters more on a personal level. That's very good. I'm wondering if it's just going to be all fully just pure text or if there will be actual audio dialogue. That's one thing that I always enjoyed about the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, even though for the most part it was kind of like text heavy. In certain conversations, there would be audio dialogue where you could actually hear the characters talk back to you. I'm not sure how much the hunter is going to talk, but she is going to be, you know, more of like the audience surrogate character. And she's mostly going to let she's probably mostly going to let the uh, I can't iconic characters do most of the talking. So there's that in terms of the voice acting. I'm not sure if it's just me, but that Nico Minaru voice actress sounds just like the voice actress or the actor that played the character in the live action Runaway series. It seems like um, Marvel and 2K, they've actually tapped the shoulders of people who are well documented, have a well documented relationship with these characters and they've had experience playing these characters in the past. If I'm not mistaken, Blade is being voiced by Michael J. White. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's my boy Michael J. White because if you guys didn't notice, in one of the more recent runs of the Blade comics, Marvel, they actually had Blade looking a lot like him. And people were kind of insinuating before it was announced that Mahershala Ali was going to be Blade in the live action MCU film, that it was actually going to be Michael J. White. So I'm not sure if they were just looking, uh, you know, on the fandom side of things and seeing how much we enjoy reading these comics when they made that decision to cast this guy who sounds awfully like Michael J. White. But it's just dope. And I'm pretty sure that they're using a lot of other 
uh, actors or voice performers who are synonymous, synonymous with the characters. I still think that they need to showcase more things that's going to actually get people more invested and excited to play this game. The story side of things, I think that needs to be showcased too because sometimes a story, a well presented story can make or break a game. But I have faith in Fire Axis that they will actually showcase more to get us excited. And hopefully we see this game running on the full powered side of things in terms of next gen hardware. I want to see how good the graphics look on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Uh, the graphic fidelity is kind of like, uh, you know, it's kind of like tipping the scale a little too much and there's not no middle ground to stand on to actually judge it in its fullness just yet. So hopefully, you know, this is still a pre-alpha build and we actually see those graphics manifest into something real because I remember up in the original trailer they did say that it was an in-game engine that they were showcasing most of the cinematics on. So hopefully that's going to be something that's balanced out in the future. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I ask if you like this video, like it and if you dislike it, dislike it. Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on my channel. But if you really enjoyed the video, it would help your boy out tremendously if you shared with all your friends and followers on social media. Sharing really makes a difference. But once again, this is your boy RBG signing out on another Marvel Midnight Sun video. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.